Ryan. Ryan. What are we going to do, Ryan? Just what are we going to do right now? One, two, three. Ba -ba -ba -na -na -na. Hello everyone, it's your girl me Viva and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my get together LP. This is part, I want to say 20. Is it 20? I think it's 20. We had 20 parts. Oh my gosh, I feel like we haven't been playing this that long, but we have. So um, a quick recap of last video. What did we do? We went out to the club. Ryan played his first mix that he made by himself. It seemed that everybody enjoyed it. And Cree was having a little some some going on with Xavier by the end of the night. I think that's all that happened. I don't remember. But um yeah, I wanna start off by saying this video. Thank y'all so much for over five point five k subscribers that's freaking amazing once again y'all are freaking amazing thanks for all the love and support and yes yeah, so as you can see we are out here at their new house as i said in the last part i used that atm mod to get some money so they could move and live on the beach because i wanted them to live on the beach and i no longer wanted them to live in the countryside that it was living in so i had to take some time to do that off camera with decorating the inside of the house and picking what house um um, you might have questions. This house is not on the gallery. This house is automatically here. If you have a get together, this house already exists, but I kind of recolored it and decorated the inside to make it my own, of course. So I just wanted y'all to know that. And as you can see, we on the beach, like look at that water. If only they could swim in it, I'd be so happy. But like, look at the boats over there. This is beautiful. Who wanna wanna wake up living right on the beach, right? Right, right? And uh, we're also gonna talk about that ATM out of how it broke my game and how I thought that it was gonna be the end of my get together LP because while I was decorating off camera and playing a little bit off camera, it sent some outrageous bill that we could not afford. Even if I cheated in the money, I couldn't because there's a certain limit. But anyways, I'll talk about that more. Let's go ahead and do a um house tour because y'all know I like to do house tours and all that stuff. And uh, my game is gonna be lagging a lot during this video. I don't know why, but my game just became a little bit more laggy than usual. Maybe something new that I put in. I don't know, but hopefully y'all don't mind and y'all still enjoy the video. So we're going through the front door. Now I be looking at pictures and videos of people decorating their houses on the Sims 4 and they're like, it looks so good. It got cluttered. They make it look all nice and lived in. I'm like, I wish I had that talent because I don't. It took me hours just to decorate the little bit that I did. So let me know if you like how I decorate the house. And also let me know who is your favorite room once I show their rooms. Also, hold on. I need to turn on all the lights so y'all can see. So give me one, one sec. I totally forgot to turn on all the lights so y'all could see and turn off auto lights. So when you walk in, this is what you see. You can see Aaliyah and Tupac up there on the wall because like, why not, you know? And if you turn to your, which way do I want to go first? Okay, let's go right. So if you turn right, this is the kitchen slash dining room area. Of course, I always got to have some red in there here and there. I use a lot of custom content, but um, I don't know. Let me know if y'all like how I decorated stuff because I think I don't do that great. And it take me longer than it's supposed to or would it take anybody else to decorate because like I'm really like thinking like what can I add and I just I have no idea. I'd be stuck for a, a long time. So this is their kitchen. I love it. I love it. Of course gotta have that brick wall. And over here there is a book case so and these are their chairs i like these chairs i forgot where i got them from but it says no place like home or there's no it's in spanish or something i don't know but i think it says there's no place like home or something like that yeah <laughs> but they're cute anyways and over here is the living room area of course got some more red and brick graffiti biggie smalls nice tv their first time having a fireplace because i'm like what can i place in here i feel like the living room is still kind of naked and i do plan on trying to add some more stuff to it but i just i don't know what yet so i put some clutter of course some laptops and cds and stuff um but yeah also i love these cc windows i love them so much like i forgot where i got them from but i love them it gives that feel that i like and also like i said that mention 
to tell me who room you like the most once you see it because we're not there yet um I have a stereo over here because you know they need their music they like to dance and stuff and here is the bathroom that is downstairs it's not too extravagant but of course we're going with the white black and gray theme of course so that is the bathroom this is the bathroom that mainly Ryan and Cree share like they were before and I'm going like back and forth. I totally forgot about going to the bathroom. So I'm sorry about that. So we're going to start looking at bedrooms. So this first room, this is Ryan's room. So let me know before you even go in. Just tell me what color it is. If you don't know, you should know by now. It didn't change. But this is Ryan's room. Of course, it's full of blue. I love Ryan's room the most. I feel I put like more effort into decorating his room to be like, this is definitely Ryan's room. So hopefully y'all enjoy it. Uh, we got The weekend, J. Cole, ASAP Rocky, I think that's, that's who it is on the wall. And I uh, got some more posters up here. He got a TV up here, Jordan rug, black bed. I uh, got a walk-in closet here. This is a window, actually. It's not a door. They can't actually go out there. It's, it's a window. I love CC. Got shoes, shopping bags, basketball on the floor, his clothes up here. I don't really like these clothes. I really want like clothes that's like urban clothes that's hanging up and stuff like that so let me know if there's some out there like a rack of like urban clothes or something so i could download or i might have to try to make some myself i don't know but uh if i find something like that i'll be changing the clothes out to be you know more urban and stuff he got a laptop money food cds open condom wrapper yeah uh Everybody have their own computer for once because I used their money, of course. All this was mainly from the money that they had. And yeah, so that is Ryan's room. That's my favorite room. But uh, oh, yeah, it's a mirror right here. Hey, if I was actually looking at myself, it'd be like, hey, there go me. But it's not. So that is Ryan's room. <laughs> uh this room right here this is Cree's room which I like as well so this is Cree's room she's in here painting squirrels apparently <laughs> but uh it's kind of like her orange peachy type I don't know I love it anyways but uh this is Cree's room she got her own computer over here which is nice shopping bags all that this wall right here is very bare but she do have like fairy lights above her bed I plan on like putting some pictures of her on this wall but I haven't taken those pictures yet so and she has a mirror as well and that same window to just look at that you can't actually go out of and got Nikki on the wall over here so let me know if y'all like Cree room I like her room as well so yeah let's keep on moving on I should be oh I didn't I wasn't having the game running this whole time uh, there we go it's, it's running now <laughs> I was like why is she just standing there um and this is just a door to go outside. I really haven't done anything to the outside. But it's a grill out here, which we should be using this part, hopefully. And it's a sitting area, a trash can. And it's an upstairs, which we will see once we go to Camille's room. Because her room leads up to that, well, leads out to that upstairs. So, let's go up the stairs. And, um, of course, this is Camille's room. She's living in the lofted part of the house. So, Got all her Chanel posters that she had before. She has Rihanna. And I don't know who eyes those are right there. I don't know. But it's cute. Um, So this is Camille's room. Let me go down a little bit. She's writing a book, I believe. So, of course, try to keep more like a purple theme in her room. But she also like black as well, of course. So this is her computer. Her little setup right here. Her closet. Um, purses, heels. Somebody asked me, like, why... Camille doesn't wear sneakers or something or why she's not wearing Jordans or why the girls are not wearing Jordans. Cree has outfit where she's wearing Jordans that you just saw and Camille she's more of the girly girl. She does not wear sneakers. She wear heels and boots and all that other stuff. So here's her walk-in closet. It says I'm a hopeless romantic with a dirty mind. True Camille. True. This her bed. I decided to be a little bit more playful with her bed. She has fairy lights as well like in a TP form. But I decided to put donuts on her bed. Like, <laughs> why not? She got some alcohol. Um, her pictures of her and Marcus up there. A little calendar. Some macaroons. Um, she has a TV as well. They all have TVs. She has a stack of magazines and all that stuff like that. 
she has two mirrors over here and like i said right here this is a this is not a window this is an actual door that you could go out of from her room so but back here she of course has her own bathroom so this is her bathroom we don't need to go all the way up in there you can see from here so um that's almost a wrap. I got to delete that. Y'all see that light floating right there in front of the door? I did not see that until now. So I had to get rid of that. So here's like that kind of like balcony area. I guess that's what you'll call it. We could just see the ocean. It looks beautiful in the boats out there. And Ryan, he's out here on his DJ booth. He's uh making his own mix again. So he's working on that. And of course, our cardboard dance floor. This is where we're going to try to like dance and have fun and have parties. I might try to put a hot tub out here because they do have money for it. But like I said, I'm not done fully decorating and stuff. So yeah, I'm working on this outside area because we're going to start throwing parties at home, hopefully. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to try to do. So that's the end of the house tour. So let's actually get into some gameplay. It's starting to get a little dark outside. So what we're going to be doing... I want them to have a family dinner because like I said, we haven't seen their parents since I introduced their parents in that part. I think it was like part 13. So we're going to try to have a family dinner tonight to kind of like bring in their um, house because they just moved to a new house. Cause, so it's going to be like kind of like a housewarming dinner with their parents. I don't know. But before we do that, Ryan, he's going to go over to the house where Eva and Marcus and all of them live at just to see if Eva is pregnant because if she is pregnant then she's definitely going to be showing by now and it's eating up at Ryan he need to know I need to know I'm nervous <laughs> cross my fingers that she's not pregnant so we're going to go travel over there just to see if Eva is pregnant or not so we could plan of what we need to do so we're going to do that hopefully she's there <laughs> We're going to act like he came to see Marcus, but we actually just trying to see if Eva is pregnant or not. So there's no baby popping up in the thing, but she could be pregnant. We do not know unless we go. So hopefully there's no belly. <laughs> hopefully, let's all pray. There's no belly on Eva. But, you know, if she is pregnant, it's cool, you know, but um, we're just going to see. And also, I think I was talking, like, really fast last part. I never noticed how fast I talk. That's just naturally how I talk. So, I'm going to try to slow it down a little bit in this video and be calm and stuff. And, yeah, my game is lagging really, really bad. I don't know. I don't even know why, but it is. But um, we're going to see if Eva is pregnant. Don't know if she's home or not. Why I can't. Oh, my God. He going right to her. I don't want you to kiss her, but you could chat with her. Okay. We're going to see if Eva's pregnant or not. See, he wanted to go see for herself. It don't look like she has a belly. Why am I game lagging so much? Where'd she go? It doesn't look like she has a baby. Who is this? Girl, put some clothes on. It doesn't look like she has a belly, but she's thinking about a bascinet over her head. So maybe a baby is here. Maybe she had a baby. I just, I don't know. And I'm just trying to find out, y'all. I don't think she's pregnant, y'all. I think Ryan just, like, Ryan, he dodged a big bullet. I don't think she's pregnant. I don't think she is. Or maybe because I got mods in, I might not even be showing her belly, but it should. But, um, it looks like he's trying to do something romantic with her. We're just going to... We're going to try to, <gasps> no, she's rubbing her stomach or maybe she's just hungry or maybe she is pregnant. Let's see. Is she hungry or she's, no, Eva, no, Eva, no. Oh my gosh. She don't have no belly, but she's definitely pregnant. She's having morning sickness. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, what are we going to do, Ryan? Just what are we going to do right now? She's definitely pregnant. Oh, gosh, she's just not showing you. I don't know why. It's been like two days. She's definitely pregnant, y'all. I'm not seeing no pregnancy reactions, though, but she's definitely pregnant. So that's just something we got to deal with with the time comes. You can use the bathroom if you want to because she's definitely having morning sickness. 
Ryan gonna be a daddy, y'all. Or maybe it's not even his baby. We don't know. But um, I guess we'll be seeing a baby in probably a part or two. I don't know. But I just wanted to see if Eva was pregnant. We're not going to even say anything to her. We're just going to go right on home. I just wanted to see with my own eyes if she's pregnant or not. Why are they cooking so much food? Even like I'm eating for two or three. I still don't know who this is, but she she oh she's part of Quest. She need to put some clothes on though. Goodness. All right, so let's head back home so we can have that family dinner. Maybe the next family dinner will be Ryan's child <laughs> with them. Well, there you go, y'all. Ryan gonna be a daddy soon. He is not ready for this, but you know, it's okay. It's all right. It's how it was meant to be. <laughs> it's how it was meant to be. Ryan was not shooting blanks at all. He was young, hot, and fertile, but it's okay. So let's focus on this family dinner. Also, I forgot I was supposed to be talking about the freaking ATM mod. So, but I'm going to set this up first so we could get all their parents coming up in here. Um... My game is lagging so bad. Come up in here, Ryan. And you're going to invite over the whole fam bam 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 I'm mad that my game is, like, really lagging so much. I don't even know why. It's okay, though. We're going to invite your dad and your mom. Invite your daddy over. Hopefully, they're not at work. I mean, it's later at night. That's why I waited for. So, invite your dad, your mom. Um... Your aunt. I still got to fix that family tree. And your uncle. And we're just going to cool out. Have a little fun. Turn on some music. Um, Turn on to some pop. Hopefully it's at low. It's at medium. That's fine. So we're going to get everybody to come over to the house. What is Cree doing? I don't know what they're doing. She needs to sell her painting. Um... Off camera, before I started recording, Xavier had asked her out, not on a date date, but like he asked her, like, you want to hang out tonight? And I declined it because, I mean, it was earlier in the day. There go your dad. You got to tell your news to your parents. Um, Can they just come in, though? I guess. I guess. So he's going to, oh, what's wrong with your mom? Cheer your mama. Why is your mom sad? Like, they need to build up their relationship with their parents anyway because it's been a while. Ask your mom about her day. Um, You need a hugger. Get her a hug, Ryan. Get her a hug. I don't know why she's upset. Maybe her and your dad had a little fight. I don't know. Bring your dad over. But you need to have a conversation with them. Camille, um, you need to come invite your parents in oh yeah look at your parents being nasty um discuss stuff with your mom and your dad i want them to come in but i remember when i showed off the twins dad everybody like their dad is hot mr david gray here they're like their dad is so hot where is Cree? why are y'all up here in the bathroom and all that other stuff i need to talk to your parents I think your dad is coming to say something to you. Your daddy missed you. How about you uh, bring your dad's day instead of walking past him and he all in the bed. Give him a heartfelt compliment. Like, hey, daddy, how you doing? That's custom content for you where they just walk through the bed and sit on the bed. Um, Talk about cooking, sure. Tell your dad a joke. Be all one. Yeah, tell your dad an inside joke. They look nothing like their dad, but they look like their mom instead. So, but that's okay. So, um, I think Ryan is telling his dad, like, you're going to be a grandpa soon. So just be prepared. So actually we're going to tell him bad. I think you could do like share a secret. His mom is still upset. Oh, so go ahead and share a secret with your dad. And then we're going to. I think she's going to go cry in his closet. Oh, can you console your mama? Your mama is crying so bad. 
Um, give your mom another hug. We're going to definitely try to cheer up his mom. I don't know what's wrong with her. I think she's fine now. She's okay. So he told, telling his dad about it, that, uh, he got this girl pregnant. He also need to tell his mom. So he's going to do like share a secret with his mom as well to, um, tell her that, you know, he about to man up and take care of this child that he's about to have. So he's going to hug his mom and tell her all about it. And then I'm going to have Ryan get out here on this grill. If my game stopped lagging. Okay, there we go. And he's going to um, grill up some... Let's have some sausage and peppers. I think that'd be pretty cool. What is Cree doing? Are they all up here talking? How cute. Talk to your uncle as well. Um, compliment his outfit because he is looking pretty good. I mean, Like, look at this. They all just sitting on the bed. It looks so crazy. Get up. They definitely like mama girls and mama and daddy girls. I don't know what I was trying to say. Um, keep talking to y'all. Dad say goodbye. Don't tell her goodbye. Um, get to know your mom some. But it looks weird that she's like sitting. Stand up because y'all looking crazy. Y'all looking real crazy. Keep talking though. Keep talking. Everybody up in... <laughs> Camille's room just having a good old time this look crazy I can't even look at it anymore well let's check on Ryan see how he's doing with the sausage and peppers he's done it looks great we're gonna call everybody to meal let's see call to meal and if y'all hear water running in the back somebody just taking a shower don't even worry about that I'm so sorry but uh let's call everybody to meal everybody's gonna eat together they're not gonna sit at the same table but at least everybody's coming to eat the sausage and peppers that Ryan have prepared and then once everybody eat maybe we'll try to watch a movie together or something then that's how I'm gonna end the part so just gonna let everybody eat it seems like everybody enjoying it. Talk to your uncle. You didn't say nothing to your uncle. I don't think brighten his day and gossip a little bit. Talk to your aunt as well. Flatter her a little bit. Like, girl, you look so young. But don't ask her if she's single. That's rude. <laughs> but everybody just talk and conversate. Ryan, eat your food. Okay. Oh, no. Why did a gathering start? We do not need Xavier and Keanu over here right now. So don't need that this is just a family thing so y'all could go home kiana showed up oh they both showed up oh we invite them to see the new house probably next part but this is just a family affair i'm really mad that my game is lagging so much it's making me really really mad but anyways i was supposed to be talking about that atm mod everything was going on so you know we had a recent update to the game which added all this stuff that come with the 16th anniversary but anytime we get an update the mods that we currently have in our game they go out of date and they sometimes or most likely will start to mess up your game but i didn't know that i updated a few mods that i remember i thought okay that'd be cool but i did not check the atm mod so i'm playing the game off camera like i said i'm decorating this house and stuff and they received their first bills the first night and i posted this on tumblr so if y'all follow me on tumblr you already saw this why the bill was over 343 million dollars because of that atm mod I'm like, who's going to pay that much money? They don't have the money to afford that. You can't even cheat that much money in to pay the bills off. In this game, for whatever reason, it caps off at $9 million is how much money you can have. If you go past that, it defaults to like a billion, and then you still can't even buy or pay the bills because they'll say you can't afford it. So I had to take out that mod, repair my game, go back to a previous save which was so difficult for me to find which one it was and i'm so happy that i found it and i fixed that issue because it would have been the end of my get together lp because if i didn't fix this i would have had to start over because it was going to start shutting off their power and their water because they couldn't pay a 343 million dollar bill like what like what oh they all leaving okay I, well it is getting late they do have probably like work or whatever in the morning but at least we had like a little time with their parents and stuff are you leaving david yeah he's leaving okay thanks for coming david so we're gonna put this food away that was a good little family outing i wanted to watch movies and whatnot but 
that didn't happen. That's okay. We're going to clean up some. Where is Cree? Cree, you getting in the bed already. You lame, Cree. You lame. Well, I guess it is late. But, um, is Camille tired? Yeah, they all tired. Okay. Ryan, he good right now. He got a lot on his mind. He's about to be a dad. So, I think he deserves to do... A little stargazing. I did want him to go jogging, but we are seeing what jogging looks like. We know what jogging looks like. He could jog another time on the beach, but I think he's going to do a little stargazing because I really don't do stargazing a lot. So he's just going to sit here and look at the sky and think about how his life is just about to change very soon because he's about to have a kid. So this part might be a little bit short. I don't know. Like I said, I apologize for all the stupid lag that was going on in this part. I don't know. I had to check. It's probably something that I put in my game recently that's making it lag so much more now. But I'm sorry. Hopefully, y'all got past that and y'all still enjoyed this part. Next part, we're going to have Ryan to try to finish up his mixing. Whatever his new mix that he's making. Maybe Cree will go out with Xavier. Maybe we'll meet some new people. I don't know. <laughs> um, we're going to let Ryan go to bed. Um, I don't know. Maybe Ryan would be a dad next part. I don't know because her stomach is not showing anything. So he might not be a dad next part. But um, yeah. Also one thing before I end this as well. I know this is like a long, long ending. Oh my gosh. Here we go. But I want to say like i see in comments a lot recently, like on my Sims 2 videos, people are asking me, when is the next part of Get Together? And that bothers me. It makes me mad because I'm like, it's a Sims 2 video. Don't comment about my other LPs on a different LP, if that makes sense. I don't like that. And be patient. Get Together is going to come. If you can't tell or see, I have a schedule. I have sims 2 get together maybe a cast video or something else and it's sim 2 didn't get together i have a pattern of what i upload and also i've been getting a lot of comments of this too which i already addressed and i answered on instagram and twitter so i'm sorry if you didn't see it so you should follow me on instagram and twitter the links are down in the description a lot of people are asking me when is my browns family coming back when is season two starring ayana as I answered before, I can't give an exact date. So hopefully y'all listening to this part, I don't know when season two is going to happen because I'm waiting for more stuff to come out for the game. So I won't get bored playing a season two. You know, you feel me? You understand? So it will come when it's ready to come. Don't rush me. I know when I'm ready to do season two. So I just want to say that hopefully I didn't come off rude, but it's just... It annoys me to no end, and it just, I had to speak about it. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So, like this video up if you haven't already. Why well, I feel like I'm out of breath. <laughs> anyway, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Once again, thank y'all for over 5.5K subscribers. I love y'all. And follow all those links down below, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!